Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my spirituality, how that progressed, the changes throughout, um, I guess the way that the people around me dealt with it, um, how people came in and out of my life um, because of this spiritual journey that I was on. Um, I'm also going to be sharing about my business, Divine Blueprint Coaching, um, that is a transformational consciousness and transformational coaching program that I created. And it, was, uh, it took me about six months to create once I got it started, but basically it was developed over um, about a five year period. So as I went through uh, my spiritual journey and as that transformed and changed I found ways that helped me and also testimonials from other people of methods and things that helped them to get to a place that was um, basically living in higher consciousness and what that looks like is you're just more aware and conscious of the things in your life, um, how your actions and things affect other people, uh, how they affect you. You're more conscious of how your day-to-day -day, uh, tasks and things are operated by your subconscious mind and not your conscious mind. So anyways, um, I'll go look more into that later um, as I talk about the uh, Divine Blueprint program which is a 12 week program. So um, it's basically meant to have a person find their uh, divine blueprint to, to realign with their divine blueprint, which was something that they decided on before they came to this earth. So um, I can go more into that later. So um, let's just begin and start from the beginning. So I was brought up more spiritual. I was brought up in a church. Uh, that was basically a bunch of religions put together and at a young age I never I didn't like religion I thought there was something wrong with it there was flaws with it there are definitely things in religion that align with my spirituality so I do believe in a source um, a creator of all basically and I believe we are fragments of that source, so soul fragments that are that came here to experience life, basically. And however, whatever that looks like, I don't believe anybody's form of living is wrong. It could be because they have a soul contract with somebody. Uh, they need to learn like a lesson, uh, a life lesson. Um, there's other reasons, but basically, there's like no wrong in my opinion, because you come here to experience, so you experience the good and the bad. So at a young age, I went to a church every Sunday, and um, we ate like organic food, natural food, and they had like rules and stuff that we had to follow, and we weren't allowed to have like sugar and things. Every once in a while, my parents let us have it, but um, yeah, so it was, I didn't like it at all. I didn't like following rules. Uh, like that, it was just weird. So, for a while, I feel like my spirituality was on hold. It was like, I was just disconnected from it, uh, because I was just going through, like, my teen years and college and just, I was so focused on other things. But once I had children, that's when my spirituality really started to bloom. And I... It, it started out as most spirituality journeys start out, I think. Um, basically, you you fall into these like rabbit holes. Um, basically, like you fall into these conspiracy rabbit holes, which is what I did. And it starts out with a UFO like community and all of those like weird uh, contact in the desert and all those weird like spiritual gurus 
Um, you have to watch out for spiritual gurus because they're usually um, not spreading the whole truth and they are usually uh, paid to tell to spread certain information so that's what I did I fell into those traps and I spirituality to me I thought was like so different than what it really is and I thought that you needed to be perfect like you needed to follow all these certain rules like you had to be like vegan you couldn't consume animals if somebody was mean to you or like didn't agree with you like you just basically you're passive about it it was like what I thought it was and um, just a lot of things that I did, I just felt like were wrong. And it's a weird, it's hard to explain, but like, it was just a weird feeling. And what came after that was like this, uh, like just cracking of my entire reality. And, uh, I went through what is known as the dark night of the soul, which is basically you are, you find out information that's like so dark and scary it shatters your reality and you go into like this deep dark depression and um, it's like nothing else matters it's like you're just like consumed by this information that you never could have imagined um, just like evil evil information is basically what I went I went down all these rabbit holes uh, satanic uh, ritual abuse and child trafficking so I was basically consumed by that and it affected my motherhood, it affected my, um, it affected my relationship and everything, like all of my relationships. So I guess that was, that's, that's necessary as I see it now, uh, that's necessary before I would think like, oh, I wish I hadn't had to go through those things, but I see that as necessary now. So a lot of things have changed um, so it just like progressed and I went in and out of these cycles where I was like consumed by darkness and wanted only to consume like dark information and why I don't know I guess I needed to uh, accept that information I needed to shine the light on that information and truth and that's what I did too and I think truth equals light and dark equals lies and it makes sense right you're in the darkness when you're being lied to and when you know the truth then that brings light to you so um, that's what I did is I'm I really am a like truth seeker lots of people like to call me a conspiracy theory before um, I can spot conspiracy theories pretty well now I feel like just because I have so much experience with um, like falling for conspiracy theories for one and you just develop this intuition and this discernment over time and you just call out the bullshit so I, I hope I call the bullshit and if I don't and it doesn't matter to me um, I don't take life too seriously anymore because I'm here to have fun I'm here to experience and if I do something wrong or I believe something wrong perfectly fine with me seeing in someone else what you need to fix in yourself so that's a really good way to find out um, what your limiting beliefs are, what uh, you hold to be true about yourself. So along with this, I started to find these methods uh, and techniques, healing techniques that would work to heal the trauma that I had found through basically through therapy. And I still go to uh, therapy once a week. And I highly recommend that. Like, you can find out a lot about yourself. And also, it's uh, it's great to be able to tell somebody just everything and just get it off your chest. You, I always feel better after after that. So, actually, I'll recommend my therapist. If you are in the Bozeman area, I'll recommend her down below. And I don't know if she does virtual or not, but I'll find out. So she's awesome, like she's changed my life. So yeah, therapy and also I did hip, hypnotherapy uh, type of things. Um, uh, what's it called? QHHT, that is amazing. Like you can go back to your childhood um, and find things that 
you were traumatized by, um, you can begin to like fix it and heal it. Things maybe that you didn't remember before, or past life. You can do past. It's you can heal basically past life things that went on. So things like that, techniques like that, and I use a lot of energy work. So and visualization and visualization is huge and it takes a while to progress to where visualization is easy for you some people can't even do it at all so but I think with the practice everybody can get to a point where they can do that and you can also go back to your childhood and you can just like talk to wherever whatever age you were traumatized at you can go back to that age and you can talk to yourself and just um, just comfort yourself or whatever you're needing you were needing at that time and you weren't getting you give that to yourself and it's like an immediate shift that's what I felt that's what's important in healing and in therapy and things is you have these shifts you may want something so bad and work so hard to change your mind about something but in, in order to get to the shifts you have to go back usually to when it happened and you have to actually talk through it and work through it like realize something about it and then you have this shift like aha moment and that changes your life and the course of your life so that's what my program does as well and work to um, change your subconscious beliefs uh, your limiting beliefs about yourself one I hold very strongly is that I'm unworthy and you'll continually see this over and over that you'll bring that into your life and you'll also look for reasons that you wouldn't have seen before like that somebody you'll take everything personal if somebody cuts you off it'll be because you're unworthy of like respect so You'll find the reason anywhere you can. I, I have experience with that and it's something that I work on quite a bit. I, I will go deeper into things when I feel more comfortable. Um, I'm a Scorpio and I'm very, um, I hold things tightly until I feel comfortable to release them, I guess. So I will explain more on my spirituality, but it's, it's hard for me and people are judgmental and I'm, that's the thing I'm working through as well and I think I've done very good work on that just even being here and um, explaining things and being more open about my life is a step for me in that direction I'm just going to talk a little bit about my Divine Blueprint program it's a five step program and the first step is you uh, you identify five goals, major goals in your life. Um, this could be like a happy marriage. You know, they're big goals. And then you do five minor goals. Um, maybe, I don't know if better communication is a minor goal, but something like that. And you map this out. And then you start to make, the, the second step is you start to make the connection. Um, why, uh, why am I unworthy of a happy relationship? Or why don't I have a happy relationship? Because I feel I'm unworthy. So I go back to my childhood and try to figure out when that occurred. And it could have been like, um, for me, it could have been in school because I didn't have a lot of friends and I was very shy. And I felt maybe unworthy of friends. And that still is something that I struggle with. So you go back to that and you link it. And so I work through that and I try to um, think of how I made that happen for one, um, how maybe I that was a huge uh, part of why I'm the reason I am now. And I like the way I am now and, and so that's a good thing. Um, so that's what you do, you make the link. And the third thing is you work to reverse it. Um, you work to rewrite your story, you rewrite your limiting belief. So you try to make it to where your actual subconscious um, believes that you are worthy, worthy of everything that you want and need. 
So there's a lot of different ways to do it. And that's, if I, um, some, if I have a client, then I work with them specifically to find the methods and techniques that will work best for them. If they can't really visualize, that's not gonna work for them, but you work, you find the techniques that are gonna work for the client, so. That's what, that's what I do, and also there's um, homework every week that's tailored to whatever we discussed, and then once we meet again, that homework is, we go over that and figure it all out. Okay, so step four is the actual healing process, the using of the methods and techniques, and you, uh, some of the things that I use myself is therapy, um, I've done a psychic reading that really like set me in a direction um, to even start my business. And um, I actually, I did hot yoga, uh, I think it was last week. And this was told to me by the psychic that this was like a really good self-care method for me. And it was, it was so good. I loved it and I will go back and do that. So you want to do self-care practices. Show yourself love, if and especially because a lot of people don't love themselves and that you can't love other people when you don't love yourself. So showing yourself love is one step. You can start to get used to it. And it's not a weird thing to show yourself love anymore. I just have some written down. Like, sorry, don't forget anything. Um, oh, yeah. So also, like, a, a huge step is identifying uh, uh, the role that you play in in your life so why uh, why are things the way they are why don't you have the goals yet what's happening with that try to work that out in your mind once you do that like you can start to figure it out and it'll and the pieces will start to come together step five is uh, so you basically it all comes together and you set out to accomplish the goals and you make um, you do it like you set the goals in mini goals and you map it out to what you're going to do, how you're going to accomplish those goals. So once you've gone through a lot of the healing process, it's ever go, it's ongoing. It'll, it'll be ongoing and like your, for your whole time on this earth. But basically you, uh, you're at the point where your life starts to like come together and your goals start to become realized and, um, your reality changes so you may have people fall away you may have people come into your life different things like that because you're changing and and so everything in your life around you is changing your mind is like the energetic uh, signal basically that you're giving off you're at a higher vibration so when you vibrate at a higher level, this is like the whole law of attraction. If you vibrate at a higher level, you will get things at that level. Um, so like a happy marriage isn't at this level down here if you're vibrating that low. Um, a happy marriage is up here where you're vibrating higher. And you don't have to like stay in that vibration all day long. That's impossible. But you begin to be able to stay in that vibration longer and longer. And when you get triggered and things happen, it takes a shorter amount of time for you to get over it. So mine has like decreased by so much. When I'd have a fight with my husband, it'd be like, I could be, I could be mad or frustrated about it all day long. Now it's like maybe like five to ten minutes and like I have things that I need to do. Um, I'll process it. Like I process my emotions. That's important. Don't like stop it down. But you... You process it and you move on quicker and quicker each time. And that's amazing because I don't have to be like dragged down by my emotions. I can just get done what I need to get done that day. And if I had a fight with my husband, then it's okay. Things are still going to get done. So that's basically my program in a nutshell. Um, if anybody has questions about that, leave them below. Contact me. Uh, however you like to. So so I can get those answered for you. Um, that's something I'm really passionate about. I've always wanted to help people. That's another reason why I started this channel is because I started this channel to um, share the ideas that I've had in my head for so long. And I've always wanted to share them. 
I shared the, I shared them on my blog, like basically mini blog on Facebook. If you scroll down my Wandering Empty Mama, you can find some of my mini blogs there. So, and also I plan to do an actual blog website here soon. Um, I'm focusing a lot on the channel right now, on the blog, on the YouTube channel, but I will be doing the blog very soon. So look out for that. I hope to have lots of tips and things like that. Uh, we're going to be doing full-time RV traveling, so stay tuned for all the fun. I'm super excited. All right. Thank you for hanging out with me today as I shared my spirituality journey, a little bit of it anyways. And please let me know if this is something that you like and I will continue to share more of my spirituality and how that's evolved. Already, please like and subscribe and hit the bell notification if you'd like to be notified of my videos and so you don't miss them. Thank you for watching and until next time, have a fabulous day.